What's in ketchup? Well, it says here tomato puree, water tomato paste, high fructose corn syrup, distilled vinegar, corn syrup, onion powder, garlic powder, natural flavors. Nothing about dyes in here, you notice. The big thing about the ketchup, of course, is the color and the fact that it, this has been sitting around for a month or more. It's very sticky residue. You don't get every trace of this out. It's going to resoil heavily on you. Tomatoes, that's organic. What product do we use for organic stains? Stain Magic. We need to have the customer scrape up as much as you know they can before we arrive. Leave a dampened, weighted towel on the area overnight. When we get there, we've, we've got really two problems here. One is we, we've got a food material here. So what we're going to do is pre-spray the ketchup with the Prozyme at two ounces per gallon, just like we've done before. Agitate it with a brush or carpet shark. Give it plenty of time to work on it. Ten minutes minimum, you know, up to an hour. Retreat it with a Prozyme. Agitate again. Thoroughly extract it out. Then if there's any stain left, we will use the stain magic. Again, we don't have to rinse out the stain magic. Mixing up some prozyme. Since this is so old, it's extremely hard, extremely sticky. None of it was scraped up. In fact, it's been ground in in this particular case. I'm using my carpet shark here for 10 minutes. Extraction. Here I'm working in quite a bit. Spread it out. So I want it work in as much as I can to start absorbing. It works like a poultice uh, to absorb it. Works much better than leaving weighted dry towels. Now in this case I'm vacuuming it back up. Here I'm doing it almost immediately. It'd be better to wait overnight, but here I'm doing it overnight or doing it right away.